South Africa's draconian internet censorship laws, a danger to atheists? On February 11th, South Africa President, South African President Cyril uh, Ramaphosa and Communications Minister uh, Kumbodzo Nasavheni signed a proclamation enacting the Internet Censorship Act of 2019, giving extensive power over to the Film and Production Publications Board, or FP, FPB. The bill was intended to, quote, protect children from disturbing and harmful content and, quote, unquote, regulate the online distribution of content. However, civil rights watchdogs warn of the chilling effect this law could have on free expression. Dominic Cole, the, the founder of uh, Ellipsis, Ellipsis Regu uh, Regulatory Solutions, a legal advisory firm specializing in telecommunications law, criticized the law, stating that the bill is extremely badly written, adding, if I upload something which someone else finds objective and they think it is hate speech, they will be able to complain to the FPB. Dean Kruger, the, a leader of Atheist Republic's Cape Town consulate, fears that the law could be used against secular or online content, stating to the Atheist Republic news team, the troubling aspect of the act is the vague definition of what amounts to hate speech. Dean added, we understand this restriction and have been especially aware of to, um, to direct our criticism of religion at the religions per se and not the followers of any religion. All right, and we have a video. This, yeah, I mean, so a... I wanted to cover this because Dean came to me and he also runs our Atheist Republic uh, Cape Town YouTube channel, which is our uh, African uh, Atheist Republic channel. So guys, please check out the channel. Um, and he was saying, Susanna, like I might have to stop doing this channel. I might have to stop oh doing God. content because of this internet law that came into effect because Whoa. there's so many different aspects to it that we can't get into about you like you having to register all this stuff with the board before you do it then basically makes putting any content online like possibly illegal or in contravention of the law like just any video on youtube putting it could be in contravention of this law and it's impossible it would it's, so dean was telling me about this and so i wanted to cover this and also um, on our website, we interviewed Dean about this issue. And so Dean on the uh, Atheist Republic Cape Town YouTube channel did a whole video about this um, issue in this bill. It was hilarious um, with another uh, Atheist Republic community member, Teresa, um, about this law. And wait, what's it titled? It's titled Atheist Republic Cape Town Internet Censorship Bill Implications and Discussion. So I really encourage you guys to go check out this video because I learned a lot about this bill. And it is very interesting how much hate speech is again couched as a thing towards about objectionable content all in these things that are, you know, offensive to religious sensibilities. So there are aspects of it that just reeked of a blasphemy law to me. And I would, and now it's in effect in South Africa. But the one benefit is that's not actually the focus of this bill. This bill is more focused on revenge porn. And then they kind of stuffed all this stuff in it. Um, and it would, it would be almost impossible to enforce. Um, but I am concerned about the status of free speech in South Africa and how this can affect, you know, people who really openly mm -hmm. criticize religion in South Africa because of this. Right. So just one final point before we go to the next news, uh, people who are interested in, you know, secular secularism and atheism in Africa as a whole, like I know this is called Atheist Republic Cape Town, but this is not just this channel is not just about Africa. It's about all uh, secular and atheist related thing in uh, the entirety of Africa. So if you're interested in that, um, just uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel called Atheist Republic Cape Town and also go watch this video and give it a like. Um, Cool. <clears throat> they're doing a lot of great work there. I'm so proud. I hope they get to keep doing what they're doing. I know Dean makes good content. Like I really yeah. like to watch their videos. It's, genuinely, it's very de detailed as well. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Thank you, Dean. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Abhabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. 
link in the description below.